What is going on guys? It's your boy Loza here. Uh, today you can see this is part two of the Brandon uh, deck profile or Bullfrog Games, if you will, uh, deck profile. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out part one, it will be in the description. Please go check it out. And without further ado, I noticed a couple of y'all aren't subscribed. What's the go with that? Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like. And then let's get on to part two of the video. Go on about salvation. Again, circles. You love to, you love to get cards off a of circle. I play two of this. Uh, the, extended, the extension is really good with the Dark Machine Girl, the Dark Machine Grave. Um, it being able to uh, not be interacted with like Ash, so like just activating this, sending an Eternal Soul is great. Uh, it's re it's just it's good. Um, and that's why I play two of it, and then sending off a Soul or sending off to Mayas to draw or summon is awesome. So that's why I play two. That's valid, but you gotta agree with me that it, this card feels like a missed opportunity. Um, if this card let us activate the Eternal Soul turn one, oh my god! Like, can you imagine the potential of going first? We would even going second. Like that get, that opens up so many plays going second. Like, Salvation going second would mean we can we have another way to, like, Magician Souls, Dark Magician out, essentially. Like, we just have a trap that we just flip, like, on our turn. And then if we had Circle up, like, oh. It's just, Konami just kind of missed the ball with Salvation, in my opinion. It's not a bad card. Like, I do think it has its place in the deck. But, it just, it feels like it missed a little bit. Look at, like, Virtual World's uh, Kaloon. That is, like, what I wanted Salvation to be. It sets Chuchi from the deck. Or does it activate it from the deck? I think it activates it from the deck. Either way, that's that would have been incredibly great. And if, like, Virtual World, which is a modern deck, can have something like that, I really just thought we could too. And I've wanted a DM field spell for as long as I can remember, and I was a little bit disappointed with Salvation. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I agree with it or two, but once again, you said your build's about circle hitting. I can see that now. But, yeah, I don't know. Let's keep going. <clears throat> one Secrets. I like this card a lot. Sure. I think this is the one of the greatest pieces of support that Dark Magician ever got. I know that's controversial, but the Quick Play Fusion slash Ritual. Fusion slash Ritual, which is important. Uh, it's not once per turn, and it can make any Fusion or Ritual monster so long as you use Dark Magician. Um, All right, let me pitch this to you. I know you love this card, and if it's so good, why is it at one? That's all I'm going to say. If this card is as cracked as you lead it on to be, it would be at more than one. Because any card in a deck that is good is played at three. <laughs> That's just standard deck building. I'm not trying to shit on you or secrets. Because if you played three or two secrets, I'd be like, you're trolling. And you would say that too, right? So I just think, like, it, it is true that secrets isn't that great. And maybe you just really like it and you're really fond of it. And that's okay. But you have to admit, you do have a, a sort of bias towards secrets. Like, if this card was cr as cracked as you claim, you'd be playing more than one. That's my... That's my final take on that. Starting to like Tamias a tiny bit more, but like this card, like just OTK, you go into OTKs, you get to make Dragon Knight on your opponent's turn. Like that's what we were using this for before. You get to make Dragoon with your own Dragoon. Like this card is very versatile. It lets Rod dodge Skill Drain. It lets Rod dodge Imperm. It lets Souls draw Imperm. Excuse me, dodge Imperm. It's, I, this card is so good. It's so versatile. I know it sounds like it's a minus because you know it is. You're taking three cards to make one. But with the Dark Magicians, with Soul Servant, with everything else in the deck, like, it does end up netting you advantage. It just takes a little bit, takes a little bit more resources to get you that more resources. But that's what Dark Magician is unfortunately all about. It's, like, using your resources to get more resources and slow roll your opponent. Um, but I think I do really think this card is... See, like, I agree with that concept. Like, we're a control spellcaster deck and we're all dark. And our concept is control through resource management. That is essentially every dark spellcaster control deck. Altergeist, for example, Shadol, for example... And I think that's the biggest problem. Altergeist and Shadol just do a better job of that than us. Like, a much better job. For example, Shadol have their version of Secrets, which is El Shadol Fusion, or Re Shadol Fusion. I forget which one it's called, but it's the Quick Play spell that's essentially the same as this. And the problem is, all the Shadol monsters, when they're sent to the graveyard, have an effect. So not only are you getting your Fusion monster, and yeah, you're losing two cards from Field or Hand... And that's a neg three or a neg two technically, but then you're triggering two more effects that are either sends, searches, pops, banishes. Like, it's value, right? And I think that's where DM falls off a little bit. But you are right; like you can use Rod to dodge Imperm and whatnot. But I just think Shadol as a concept does this card better. And our deck, where you've said we have a lot of bricks, or you, sorry, you haven't said that, but. You know we have a lot of bricks. We have three DM in your build and Dark Magician Girl and Red Eyes. Like, imagine if we just had an in archetype Red Eyes fusion that sent them to the grave turn one. I hope one day we have a fusion that is made up of the Palladium monsters and maybe DM and DMG. 
and we have a crazy spell that can help get them all in the bin turn one. That's a little bit, little bit too good to be true, but we do need a fusion spell, in my opinion, that just takes the bricks from our deck or hand and just puts them in the grave and makes Soul Servant live turn one, like, like, easily. And that's, I guess, another reason why I dislike secrets, because it's like, well, this could have just been a lot better. I do like that it's quick play. I do like you can use it to OTK. I do like you can use it to dodge hand traps. All of that is great. To be honest, my biggest gripe is it doesn't send from deck. I do think we need to send from deck in this deck. So if you're playing one, uh, non-Dark Magician cards, we play Magical Ice Fusion. Uh, play cool. one, makes the Dark Magicians if you want to, but really it's just make Double Dragoon. Uh, yep. Or make Dragoon late game, send it off to the very day later on after you've already used your Red Eye Fusion. Speaking of Red Eye Fusion, play three of this card. Please play three of this card. This card is so good. The best combo in this deck is activate red eyes, chain droplet. It is literally the best. Um, yes. Just yeah, I can get ashed and like, yes. I feel bad when it gets ashed, but like yes. Just play three. Just just activate this card. Okay. I don't need to say anything here, but I'm gonna. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Like the amount of people who don't see this, it baffles me. Like droplets plus imperm or chalice, like any of those cards, they're all like essentially the same card going second. Using them with ref in combination with ref or imperm and then your ref, like you win the sword soul matchup alone and. There's a lot of other matchups that you win as well. And people don't seem to either like that or like acknowledge it or just they forget. I I don't know, but it's really f***ing good. So thank you. Three ref is the best. Speaking of which, three droplets, I like droplet in the main. Yes, um, Because cool. of cards like Soul Servant, because of cards like Rod, because of like uh, mm -hmm. Red Eyes Fusion, I want to be able to activate my cards and then use them as cost to activate this card and stop my opponent from negating my stuff. Um, yep. I like this right now a little bit more than Chalice, just because a lot more people are putting up um, more either multiple than negates or like... Herald, which is like a macrocosm for monsters. Mm -hmm. um, Virtual World puts up the other one that like makes it so you can't send monsters from like field to graveyard or whatever. They just have cards that you want in the game. So that's why I like Droplet. Moving on to Trap. Only reason I don't have Droplet in my profiles is Chalice is like a 50 cent version of Droplet. And I'd rather like ask my audience to buy Chalice. Because if they invested like $100 in a Droplet and they message me like, Loza, this card didn't win me locals. This is bullshit. I'd be like, bro, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'd rather them spend 50 cents on Chalice and get the idea behind what I'm saying. Like the whole, yo, look, ref and this win you the game. And they might figure that out for themselves. And then they might want to invest in Droplet themselves later. But yeah, 100%, if I had Droplet, I'd be playing it instead of Chalice. So very good call. Or, ooh, actually, best Dark Magician card right here. Stack off a circle, draw yep. it. Activate it, chain servant, draw it. Yep. Great, play this card. Shit's broken. Two Eternal Soul. Uh, I like playing yep. it at two. I'm technically playing it at four with the two field spells. Yep. Um, again, I want to see it. I want to set it up. I want to keep recycling my Dark Magicians. I played it two. Uh, my original... See, two's good. Like, I have no problem with two on Eternal Soul. That's fine. plan was to play one and then play three of the field spell, but that doesn't make much sense because um, if this gets yeah. cosmic or if this gets like uh, sent to the graveyard and I yeah. open or I draw late game into one of those um, field spells, that's why I like it at two because I like to see it or the field spell. That's and fine. Both, I still get to send either the field spell and one of them off of like souls or the Tamias. Uh, and again, I like the consistency of having the Eternal Soul, the Circle, the Dark Magician, everything. The sad thing is, we're going into a back row removal format because of Skill Drain and Eld Lich. Like, people are going to be citing heaps of back row shit. That's really annoying for us, but oh well. Because that's what this deck does. This deck specifically, like, um, doing test hands, I had a 75-ish percent um, like success rate with making Dra uh, Dragoon, Eternal Soul, Circle, Dark Magician, and Grave. Um, everything else was, like, at least Eternal Soul, Dark Magician, Circle. And then there was, I think, only a like two percent chance to brick. Uh, I have a spreadsheet with all that information. If anybody actually wants to take a look at it, I can give it to them. But like, it's... I'm not sure how you only two percent. Oh, I guess you're like talking full hand brick. To me, if I see like one vanilla in my hand, I'm like, I have bricked. The game is over. Not that the game is over, but I'm just like, well, this hand is infinitely worse. You know, that's a whole slot of a card that is dead. Like, it's depressing. And yes, like secrets can sometimes fix that, and your draws can obviously fix that. But it just feels bad, you know? Gotta take my word for it, unfortunately, but the consistency of this deck is kind of insane. Uh, three confirm, I think this is like one- I do think like post Battles of Chaos, our consistency is just through the fucking roof. Like, it's unbelievable how consistent this deck is now. I really love it. One of the best hand traps, I think Ghost Ogre, this coming format, is going to be super important. Um, but for now, I like Imperm. Imperm makes so you can't get talents, and getting talents feels bad in this deck because you need mm -hmm. resources, and I don't like them stealing my cards. Yeah, if they steal Dragoon, you so kind of lose. Next. Um, again, take, take my- my, you know, opinions with a grain of salt. Do what you want with the deck, except for this. Do not play this artwork. Do not do it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's the main deck. Please, you know, keep your roasting light. All right, Dragoon gang. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, we play two. Oh, uh, the star. Look at all the starlights. They're so hot. Uh, just, again, this is this is it. This is the deck. Make this card. Mm. Hopefully your opponent can out it. Back it up with everything else. Uh, this card, also super important uh, to the deck. Um, like, there's times I make this just to get cards out of my hand, and then I link it off to make this card, because this card is obviously superior, but, like, just, I like the Dark Magicians. I think it's worth playing. Um, 
This is a new edition. Um, I haven't tested much of it yet, but I because of like our, uh, because of Moon Maiden and because of like whatever other light monster like you might be playing, whether it's like Valor, um, this cards like Vanishall Monster, Board Wipe, I think can come up. Um, and plus we play three Illusion of Chaos. I play the Tamayas and I play the Secrets. Um, this card's not hard to make. That's and true. Sometimes you might make you might need to make it if you, so your opponent makes something. You would make it chaos. easier than so me with Secrets. I'm one right now. Not sure how much I like it, but we will see. Um, you could argue that like Zeus is the better alternative to this card. However, your um, your Xyz is might, might not always be able to attack, and you might not always be able to make an Xyz. Where this is a lot easier to make, in my opinion, than a Zeus on most occasions. Yeah, Dragon Knight, they're um, both kind of weird. Yeah, he's just a good card. I like this card. Tamias making him and then linking it off to make Verite's cool because then it gets him in the grave to be sent back with Eternal Soul. Yep. Xyz, I play Narito because uh, I play three Apprentice. I think Narito yeah, is an awesome. Yeah, for sure. Person. If you Sometimes have, you get to make Narito and then you get to make. If you have three Apprentice, like you 100 percent have to play this with the Zeus package. Like it's just too good. Verite, which stops your opponent's imperms. But in reality, this is actually just to. Um, Rank up into Evan so you can get your mm -hmm. banish, you can get your Dark Magician. And then you cut Zeus you can, if you uh, want. Go to a Zeus. I'm not currently playing the Zeus. Oh. Just because I think I sold mine and my buddies just did my other copy. So, uh, And I wanted to test out Master of Chaos before I went back to Zeus. So, kind yeah, of that's Master of Chaos and Zeus is like. I'm playing Master of Chaos too, and honestly, I'm probably going to cut it. Like, unless I stop playing Secrets. I am thinking about it. Matt's trying to make me play it. You're trying to make me play it. I will probably play Secrets at 1 at some point, but you just, you gotta admit, like, would you rather just, if you had, like, all traps in your hand, would you rather see Secrets or Ref? Like, it's always Ref, so that, that's always gonna be my viewpoint, but I do understand it's a very good tech, uh, but anyway. Interchangeable uh, links, so we have Imduck. Yeah, rod baby! Grave. It's a drag, or excuse me, your, rod, your Dark Magician Engrave, and it's a dragon to make either Dragonite or Dragoon. Um, Magician Souls plus Magical Eyes is a Dragoon, you know, Magician Souls, I'm a Dark Magician. Mm -hmm. Link into Imduck, activate uh, magical eyes make dragoon so i like this over link spider link point, spider does point down and link spider can use a token this cannot use a token so just keep that in mind um play this card if you're going to play dark magician at all competitively yep. play this card also if you didn't i'm sure you know but with link spider if you have i'm dark and link spider you can turn that one dark magician you summon in the opponent's end phase into anaconda dragoon but only if you have link spider and another it can be i'm dark it can be another link spider but basically, you need two because Link points down and then DM comes back and is a vanilla and you need to swap him out for I'm Duck. And I hope this makes sense. Maybe I'll make a visual on screen so it does. But anyway. Um, put your Rod and Grave, put the Light and Grave for Magician of Chaos, or excuse me, Master of Chaos. Uh, it just, mm. it's good. It so good. Play it. Two Verte. Uh, two yeah. Verte you have a second one or late game. What is this? You know. Uh, what this is this? Is either no! Why are you playing this? Oh, he's about to say it's Dark the Dark Charm, I hope. A uh, Wee Witch or Protector Whelp. Uh, right now, just because I don't have a dark, but this card. Okay, cool. I thought so. It should 100% be a dark, the dark charmer. Uh, yeah. Because it helps you go into access code. Um, cool. I don't play needle fiber. I think the dark is better. This is just like a proxy right now. Yeah. For... Yeah, I, I've dropped needle fiber too. I think this is just infinitely better. For dark until I get my copy. And if you're not going to play this. Not we Witch, dark for con. I'm just clarifying in case anyone misinterprets that. Dark is better than Hulk and we Witch. Do not play we Witch. You can play Hulk, but prioritize dark. If you're not going to play dark. I suggest playing something else. Uh, I like playing, uh, what's it called? Protector Wealth, because it's a Link 2 dragon that can use any monsters, and then you can use secrets to make it into a Dragonite or a Dragoon. But, like, play Dark or just play... Yeah, that is a play, but, man, secret. I already say secrets is an egg. <laughs> Making two monsters into Protector Wealth, oh, man, that's, like, an even bigger egg. But it's an option. I bought Protector Wealth when it came out for that exact reason. I've never used it ever, so I'm hoping to keep it that way. Uh, BLS. BLS is... Amazing card. Like, a nor another boss monster. Um, yep. I like going into this when I don't have an Eternal Soul. Because mm -hmm. then he gets, like, protected, and it's, like, a hard monster to out, especially after you start gaining attack while, if you kill something. 100%. Uh, Selene. Selene is to bring either bring back your Dragoon or go up into access code. Incredible. Access code. Incredible. And that is the extra deck. Uh, Great. The extra deck, I think it's good. Again, roast me daddy, whatever you guys want to do. Moving on to the side deck. Side deck is super a work in progress right now just because of the new cards. That's fine. Um, that everyone else got too. The format's like, still new. After the most recent ban list. Uh, three Cosmic. Um... I like Cosmic because it's very good right finishes, now. So like Eldritch, it kind of hurts those cards, especially yeah. the doors. And I guess they're their most important cards against us because interesting things about this card, like I got, I have a Shadol player in my locals, so like this against Schism, absolutely incredible, can win you the game. This against Eldritch, absolutely incredible, can win you the f***ing game. This card against Flunder, oh my god, incredible. Get rid of the trap, get rid of the freaking field spell. That's the best. We we just love to chain this card in response to things like anti spell fragrance too. Like tell that to piss off because we want to play our spells. Cosmic is just a really really good card 
Like, it's just MST on steroids. Like, yeah, you have to pay life points, but it's worth it for the banish, in my opinion. Of course, when it comes close to time, you cry in the chat that this isn't MST or something. Or twins, but you can play twins as well, guys. Cosmic is just, in my opinion, better. It's a one for one. If they negate it, it's like, whatever. When twins gets negated, you're like, bro, I just lost two cards. But anyway. They pop eternal soul, or they, like, banish your, your dark magician or your soul, your soul servants to draw. So, that's why I like uh, Cosmic. Evenly match. This card poops on... Eldritch, it puts on yep. a P PK deck uh, after, you've used, after they've used their uh, Griffin Negate. Super so I like good. that. Uh, this is a carryover from last format. I was using. I think people are sleeping on evenly matched because, yeah, as you said, it basically forces Eldritch to use a judgment or lose their board. Like, it's just a good outcome either way. And yeah. Any other deck, they just have to use a negate from the... The Brave Engine uses so many cards on field. If they don't get rid of them, it's like, cool. Either use your Griffin to gate now, or I bait Griffin to gate and then evenly, and like, you have to pick to like, leave garbage. Like, But yeah, anyway, evenly matched, I just have always agreed with. It's just such a good card. Barrier for Synchro and Ritual, because of Drytron and um, Sword Soul. Uh, I think this might get replaced with Ogres, because yeah, this is actually going to be strong this format. Uh, which I didn't think at first, but Ogre hits the Brave Token Engine, which is super important, and then Ogre also just hits a lot That's of other true. like problem cards, but most uh, importantly, it hits the Brave Token Engine, so this could mm. be like a bunch of different things. And like, while Ghost Ogre is also good, there's also E-Telly, so you can use it as an extender and play Hulk if you want. Not saying you have to, but it's an option, it's cool. Uh, uh, three Nib, Nib is cool. Yeah. It, you know, uh, if your opponent doesn't get their Brave Engine out, like this hurts a lot of decks. This is a good side. And then three Lancia, uh, this hits a lot of rogue decks. Cool. It hits PK, and it just hits a lot of problem cards. Uh, also, this mm. card hits... You know, your opponent's cosmic cycle and on your eternal soul, which doesn't That's come true. Come up. What's really cool about this in DM that a lot of people don't know, like obviously if you open three side uh three Lancer, you're probably gonna want to save them all in the hand and just keep lancering your opponent. If it's like if you sighted it in, it's clearly a matchup where it's relevant. Like against Invoked, every time they play Invocation, you just drop this. It's so fing good. But anyway, you can set this in the spell trap zone, right? All artifacts. So you can just set it in the spell trap and go Magician Souls, send Lanciers, draw cards. I've done it maybe once or twice. It's not super relevant, but it's just like for those times where you like look at your opening hand, you have all three, and you're like, I'm only going to need two. So you can just send one away. It's really nice just that we can deal with that. Super niche, but I love that. I just love that. The look on your opponent's face when you send a Lancier to draw, there's like, who the f is this guy? Um, yeah, so that's the deck. Um, gonna go into. Just a few things that I find interesting and things that people should know. Um, so sure. I want to play Second Secrets just like I want to play a Second Tamias, specifically for this Why? card here. Um, the Dragon Crown, uh, this card is one Spellcaster plus one Dragon. So sure. with Tamias, Tamias does not specifically say, or excuse me, Tamias does not say that you have to specifically use a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. Tamias just says you have to use a Spellcaster. And I'm going to grab the text real quick just to make sure I didn't lie to you guys. But you can turn Tamias and any other um, Spellcaster in your hand or field um, into this card. And what's important about this card is this card is really good against Drytron, it's decent against Sword Soul, and it's pretty okay against a lot of, like, current deck right now that ah. use monsters of the same type. So, uh, it just makes, it just gives your opponent something to play around, and then it's also a Spellcaster, so you can make it with Magical Eyes. Um, cool. And it's just really interesting, and I want to test it out more. Um, and so that's why I want to play two Secrets, or two Tamias, or just some mixture of the two. Um, so that's why this is here. Uh, this is just something I wanted to mention. Uh, with Secrets of Dark Magic, if your Eternal Souls face up and you're about to lose your entire board and your opponent has a bunch of stuff, you can activate this and summon Starving Venom. Because Starving Venom will then get destroyed by your Eternal Soul, which will then affect itself to right your opponent's board. So that's just something that not a lot of people know. So, you know, uh, I think if Super Poly comes back into the format, that makes this card yeah. super important. I wouldn't then, worry uh, about like. I don't have. I'm waiting to get it with my. I wouldn't worry about summoning it off secrets. Starving Venom's great. Mud Dragon's great. Any Super Poly target is great. It just has to be format specific, in my opinion. And it's just not the format for that yet. I'm afraid. Stark is the new um, fusion monster. I can't think of its name right now. Uh, someone will probably comment it down below. Uh, but the one that takes three monsters, um, at least one from the hand and one from the field. Uh, oh. Making it with secrets allows you to pop or pop and draw. Guardian uh, Chimera two and two, or something. Or two and one, two and uh, one and two, whatever. Um, and I think that card's really interesting because of the fact that we have secrets as a card, and it's a cool play fusion spell, mm. and it's just more interruption that you have. So these are cards that I just want to te uh, test, different texts that people should look into. Um, and that being said, that's that's it, man. I uh, appreciate you guys taking Like, secrets could be cool with that Guardian Chimera. I I'm not going to talk about Mysterion, the Dragon Crown, and uh, Guardian Chimera. I Other profiles are playing them, and I kind of roasted them. But you know what? I haven't really looked into them, so maybe I should look into them a bit more before I roast them. But yeah, they just seem kind of niche. But as you said, if they're good against Virtual World or Sword Soul, that's that's pretty good. I just figure they'll just have a way to play around it. But hey, maybe not. I'm so tired. Big sorry. Big sorry. I'm exhausted. But this is a pretty good profile. There was a lot of cool shit in here. A lot of great rarities. It took me way too long to find this post. But here it is with his beautiful 
star lights. These are just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, props to you, my man. Getting your hands on these must have been rough. Congratulations, these are freaking awesome. A lot of my locals peeps are like, when are you gonna get all this? And I'm like, uh, yep. Maybe one day I'll get this stuff. But, but anyway, thanks for the deck profile. Thanks for, you know, letting me know I can go ham and roast it. But honestly, not too much to roast. A lot of what's in here is kind of your personal preference versus mine. And overall, we are just playing the deck to win and in a competitive manner and i think that's the most important thing seeing your side deck like that's absolutely perfect pretty much it's pretty much what you want in a side deck stuff to combat the meta stuff to deal with random rogue shit that might disrupt us the only thing i would say is like skill drain is absolutely crazy in this deck and you're not playing any uh that's okay like imperm is a good card too and it's arguably a little better for second so i can understand that overall pretty gucci profile very nice cards and i will catch you all later